Do Melani, Abusheni, Ninjani, Lochani. I hope you're doing great. My name is Princess Sanja, your sister at heart. Again, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being part of the family. I am back again with another motivational soul healing video. If you're coming for the first time and you want to be part of this family, you can do the right thing by pressing the subscribe button down below and press the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Without wasting any more of your time, let's just go straight to today's dose. With today's dose, it's all about forgiveness. It's all about being okay with things that might have taken place even when they were not okay when they were taking place. Today's dose is about being able to identify an authentic apology so that you don't become a fool twice. Most often, if you are the chosen one, if you're an empath, if you are somebody who is a giver by nature, somebody with a big heart, somebody who wears their hearts on their sleeves, someone who have no ill intentions, you are just what you say you are, what you see, what you see is what you get with those type of people. They tend to be the victims of people who come and take them for granted or take advantage of them and mistreat them and ill treat them with the purpose of hoping that they can get what they have and, and they can get to keep it. Little do they know that some of the things that people have and possess, they cannot even be copied. They cannot be duplicated. They were created to be on those people in a way that they are on those people. Other people might be those things or they might create those things or may, they might manifest those things in their lives, but it will never be identical to the next person because people have different gifts and they are here to fulfill different purposes in different ways so you can never be able to duplicate these things because they are created uniquely for the person who have them they would go through so much abuse so much abuse from their friends from their families uh, their colleagues people who are closer to them as soon as they get to know them as soon as they see how soft-hearted they are how soft-spoken they might be, how so giving they are. With they like they have a very easy hand, meaning that they give easily. So there's always going to be people in your cycle who want to capitalize on that, who want to have a benefit out of it. They are already thinking of their plans, using your existence, using your gifts, using your light without your concern, without asking for your permission. They are already harnessing the energy that you are having every time you are in their spaces. But what do you do to avoid yourself from the anxiety that you always have to go through after interacting with certain people, especially when they are family or people who are close that are just impossible to ignore or avoid meeting or seeing? You need to know, Uguti, once people wrong you, it is your accountability, it is your accountability to be accountable for yourself. You know that you have gone through a lot already. And when people have certain behavior or certain things that they say that are, are not really building you up but that are taking away your energy it is your responsibility to decide what do you do with that if you see that walking away without a fight without any questions without any confrontations is really killing you slowly it's like eating you up don't choose that option rather you face the problem and really express you know what, I'm not going to sit and allow the disrespect uh, that is happening. You don't have to like me, but you're going to have to respect me because I respect you, especially in a workplace environment or in places where they are like a respectable relationships. You know, you know you're friends, but there's that I'm an adult, you're an adult. There must be a room for health interactions. So once you voice out your feelings, you need to now boundary up. You need to boundary up. They cannot get to do the same things that they might have been able to do before because you opened the gate and you allowed them to feel as if it is okay for them to walk around in your personal space and do as they please without considering your feelings. And there will come a point where some of them, after you confront them, they might not seem as if they are genuine or they are like really understanding where you're coming from with you expressing how hurt you are based on their actions and you best believe that most of them they will want to return back to you even after they have wronged you and the reason why is because they'll start realizing that actually you're no longer in their lives because they have never met somebody like you that's first and foremost they've never met somebody who's kind like you 
who's, who's, who's understanding like you, who's supportive like you, who's always just looking for solutions and willing to assist where you can. Where they come from, they don't have. That is the reason why they are the outcome of human beings they are. They are selfish, self-centered, entitled. They don't want to lift a finger. They're not willing to work hard, play a victim in the situations they created. They are like narcissists in most cases. So when you meet these people and they realize that actually you've bound, you've, you've bound that up, you've created your boundaries in an extent that they cannot get to play the mind games they were playing before in order for them to get what they wanted out of you. They now feel which there is a distance. So they're going to try their best to find a strategy that is going to bring you back. They're going to make sure the team, they come back with their issues. Because of the person that you are, much, you are much likely also to be a person who, because of the trauma you might have went through, you become overly kind because you don't want people to go through the things you went through yourself. So every time when you're presented by a problem, by people that you care for or that you know, it is in your instinct to want to react by being of assistance, by bringing solutions. So that is possible to happen. They will come back and want to apologize to you. You will forgive them, bring them back possibly, and try to change things here and there so that you, you put your boundaries. But what normally happens in most cases is that the behavior becomes worse. When they come back for the, for the second time, the behavior becomes worse because now you have proven to them that that's how low you think of yourself. Uguti. The things that they know that they've done, but you still was willing and able to open the doors and let them come in again. They know deep in their hearts that if it, it was vice versa, if the tables were turned, they wouldn't allow that to themselves. But the fact that you are allowing it, it becomes clear to them. Oh, I guess it's okay for us to do it. It's possible. There's an opportunity. There's an opening. There's a gap that allows me to do this as long as I get what I want from a person. So they will wrong you and then they'll want to come and apologize to you. The apology is not always based on wanting to do things in a good way, wanting to aid the past mistakes, realizing the wrongs and really just seeing their fault. They're just going to want to say sorry so that you can forget about everything that has happened so that it can be life as normal. Meaning we're just going to go ahead and act as if nothing happened. Now you need to look for these three things in someone's apology to know that you are not being manipulated and you're not being played with, especially with your mind, because mind health is very important. Your mental health is important. So when somebody's twisting, manipulating the happenings and the events and the intentions, they don't tell you what they are doing. They are really like, abusing you mentally so you look for these three things in an apology somebody who's apologizing to you they need to show that they are grateful of what they've done if somebody says they are sorry but they still have a but in an, in, in an apology they are not sorry they really haven't reflected the reason why they need to be sorry and come and apologize to you they're just saying sorry so that we can brush it off and move along so there needs to be regret for somebody to feel which actually that was out of line what i did was wrong I can also see it myself now, now that I'm thinking clearly without my emotions or without being under the influence of whatever. Now I can see which I was wrong, regret. That's number one. Number two is remorse. Remorse is when somebody really feels bad of what they've done. They want to explain to you where they were coming from. They want to explain to you their perspective of where they were saying this from. They are not trying to justify why they did it. They recognize that they were wrong. They, they are apologizing from the sincerity of their heart. They are remorseful. They wish they can turn back the time and do things differently. They can even show in behavior that this person is remorseful. But you can see in that behavior, which they're now learning something out of what they did to you. And that thing that they're learning, it is that they're allowing it to change them in a way, which they don't get to do that to someone else in the future. Now, that is an apology. Somebody who is learning, Uguti, I, I effed up here and I shouldn't have done this and I'm going to apologize sin sincerely and I'm not going to proceed with these ideas of this disrespect or whatever that the person has done. I'm not even going to do it to other people. And the third thing that you look for is an apology. The third thing is a resolution. A resolution is somebody now who has to embody a person who is sorry. You're not saying now, people are, they must uh, follow you around or bow down to you and act like you're a queen of London or a king of whatever. But like a resolution, it goes back to 
what lesson did I learn out of our altercation, out of our argument, out of our misunderstanding? What are the values that I go away with after this interchange with you? And after having to really realize that, you know what, I was in the wrong. And so going forth or going forward, these are the things that I will try to avoid so that I don't find myself in the similar situation. And now these are the values and the beliefs that I'm coming out of this with now that I've acknowledged my wrong, now that I know better, now that I know something I didn't know before my mistake. So this is what I'm taking out of the situation. So if people don't embody those three things in their apology, just know that the apology is not sincere and they just want their access to you back. You have given them a pass in the past that allowed them to have a certain level of access towards you. They just want that back. There's nothing else. Because they want to do worse in the future. When people show you who they are, you better, you better believe them. But also, as much as that is true, people do change, but you have to monitor their actions and see if they are remorseful, they are regretful, and they have resolutions going forward. So you don't have to be scared of losing people. People that you are scared of losing, chances are they are not meant to be in your lifetime anyway. They are not meant to be in your life or for lifetime. Maybe they were just temporal people. So every time when you are in the verge of losing somebody, don't try to hold on and be desperate. Be always ready to lose people. Because you want to lose people in this life if you want to grow. If you want to remain yourself, you're going to gain friends and people who are going to agree with you in everything, everywhere you go. But there's no growth there. The growth... Growth is only going to show itself based on how many people you're going to upset <laughs> in your future. And some of the things that you want to make people upset about are really just your truth. Never be afraid of losing people, especially people who think that you are too much, especially people who think that you are too less, especially people who think that, you know, you are not relevant into their lives, like you don't have anything to bring, people who don't value you, people who don't value your time, your existence, people who really just want to be next to you only when it is beneficial to them. you got to be able to see those things for what they are because they can really kill your morale. They can really like take away your energy that you would have needed or used to really explore life and make your life better or make your life in a way that you want. But because there are these energy vampires that you are accumulating yourself, you yourself, you are going around accumulating them and putting them close and you are just not also reacting when there are like some foul things that are happening you just allow bad behavior you allow abuse and it becomes a problem because it becomes like this big dark cloud that follows you around in your life so that I, I hope that this video did find you in good spirit until we meet again love and light